So in this video we're going to talk very much about the club face because this is a problem that I am seeing quite a lot with both students online and also people that come to visit for lessons. And it, the problem is stemming twofold, right, which is what I'm going to explain. So the first problem is very much this sort of concept of club face in the backswing position. So I'm seeing a lot of people that kind of say, well, I was sort of told or, or you know, um, whether it's with a lesson or just with advice online to keep the club face pointing down towards the ground and getting into a position which kind of looks something like so. Now, to clarify, what needs to happen in the golf swing is we need to have arm rotation, okay? So what happens is your left arm, technically it pronates, which basically just means if you're wearing a watch on your lead arm, it rotates progressively up towards the target. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the downswing as well in this video, but as a priority in the backswing position, if you're sort of doing this sort of motion, what that basically means is that you are reducing your arm rotation. So that basically means that you are closing the club face. Okay, so if you excessively close the club face in the backswing position, okay, because you sort of feel the club face should look something like so, then this is the reason why your right arm can't fold correctly in the backswing position. Okay, so if you watch me, see the way that I do a couple of things. One, I allow that club head to travel through my target line. And can you see the way the club shaft points down towards that target line? And this basically means I'm keeping the club on plane. Now, when I go into this position, you, my left arm has been allowed to rotate. So I'm not doing this and then like this. Okay, something awkward like so. I'm basically just taking it back so my arms stay pretty straight. And then you can see from this position, because I've allowed my arm to rotate, my, my right arm can now fold. Okay, whilst if I did something like so, my right arm is going to get really stuck and it's going to get really uncomfortable in that golf swing. So that's the first thing that you need to understand is that when you're kind of getting set up to the golf ball, you have to allow in that first move for that club head to go nice and straight back and there needs to be an element of opening on that club face position. Oh, it's a little bit heavy, but fine in terms of direction. So, so that's the first thing. Now, the big one then is encouraging golfers to start the downswing, right? So I'm looking, my sort of like magic little area with students is if I can get them in a really good position at left arm horizontal on the way back, and then a good position keeping the club on plane in the top of the backswing, so you can see the club shaft stays in the plane line, and then start the downswing where they're able to pull the left hip back and get the hands coming down the very similar journey that they did in that early backswing position, then I know that golfer is gonna be really consistent. And the problem is, you see, is that most golfers don't realize that your arm rotation is what is controlling the club face, right? So that's what squares the club face. Most people don't realize that when you sort of pronate, so you rotate your arm and then you supinate, that's what's controlling that club face position. And what happens with most golfers is they sort of take it back and they swing up to the top. And then as they start the downswing, what they start to do is they don't realize the steepening, okay, which is a common term as opposed to shallowing, basically just means that you are rotating your arm too soon. So you're theoretically closing the face too early. Okay, so now if I do that and the club face comes down like that and it's too closed, and then golfers end up having to compensate for that. So what I have to do and what I encourage them to do is to do some, some takeaway moves and then you've got to get the feeling that you're hitting it with an open face, which is quite a scary sort of sensation for most people, but that's what you need to do because we know with a professional golfer, they take the club back, they swing up to the top, they sort of start the downswing, pulling this hit back and keeping the club shaft on plane. We know they don't move this way like this. We know they move this way and they keep the face more open, hence the term shallowing. And then we know that a professional golfer squares the club face very late. Okay. And that's something that most kind of pros and stuff don't tend to talk about because obviously it's not always what amateurs want to hear, but we know the professional golfer that by the time they get the club shaft to parallel in the downswing, that the back of the uh, watch, as we said earlier, is facing towards the sort of camera, and then they take it further on another stage, and that club face is still open at this stage, and it's not until the very end that you start to induce a little bit of arm rotation to square the face. And that's what I'm saying. If you start bailing out and doing it too soon, then that's why you're gonna get too steep. So the feeling is, get the club going back, like so, through that plane line, up towards the top, and then try and get the feeling that you're leaving the face more open for much longer as you turn your body through. So you want to feel like that face is more open when you're hitting the golf ball as you sort of turn through. It'll make a massive difference, I promise you. I'll see you guys again really soon.